place reminds me a lot like Daytona. Creepy. Doesn't this look like a crusty crab burger? Okay, so this place with the weird animal heads, hairy tits, and the crusty crab food is at a place called Harbor Walk. And this visit was actually my favorite out of the entire trip because it had like so many events like green screen dancing, cartoonize yourself laser tag, magic shows, etc, etc. I was hoping that we'd return, but we only came there for grub, but it's all good. We have the internet to keep the awesome events flowing. The place that we ate at was called AJ Seafood, and it took over an hour for our food to get served. My meal was the AJ's house sandwich, which is basically a burger except with something called Mari Mari instead of a patty. It was okay, it gives you a great feeling after you're done eating, but it's not enough to make you full. The moment we were about to swim, it starts getting cloudy and it's about to thunderstorm. Oh, it's just bowling. This is pretty much our last day here, so I decided I'm gonna record. Let's go check out here. The balcony at night, so I'm just gonna warn you all. It's gonna be freaking loud because it's so windy out here. Hey! <laughs> stack of ramen and chips let's see what kind of chips we have okay and slimmy jimmies I can't talk too loud because everyone's sleeping now Nothing in the fridge. And I guess that's pretty much it. Guess it's lights out now. Ah. I'm back in this room for one last time before we leave. Is that Sebastian from The Evil Within? I, I don't even know what this arcade's about. Action. What action? Oh, okay. It's like a low graphics version of <laughs> The Evil Within or Alien Isolation. I don't know. Seven dollars for this meal. Actually, I didn't expect the tangerine. And I got coffee. What's this? That moves really slow, by the way. 
Oh, this is at a McDonald's. They have Max. <laughs> and here we are heading to our last stop to a place called Golfarium. And then we head to the Sensation to get a souvenir for a memorization of Destin, Florida. Look at that thing. Boy, Florida wetlands. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, wow, you're sure it's stupid, aren't you? Wait, what? <laughs> you thought that was the name of the fish? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, like, what? I was like, uh, that fish looks like a Florida wetlands. Yes. Alright, there's like multiple fishes. You got. I have no clue. I don't even know, but I would use it to fight in battle. Oh, maybe it. right here? Look at this. A pregnant father's. What would that's the that's the name of <laughs> pregnant father's. <laughs> that's a very good name for uh, some pregnant father's. <laughs> it's freaking stuck. Look at that little fish. Is that a sea lion? Oh. It looks like a sea lion. Oh no, I think it's a sea bear. Okay. I have to say, that was very impressive, but I think you can take it one step further by doing her famous front flipper walk across the stage. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and flex those muscles. Miss Molly and Tina over there stretching out, showing off for you guys. They can even shake their heads up and down as if they were saying yes. <laughs> and of course, they can shake them from side to side for a sea lion's favorite answer, no way. Now Tina and Molly, in addition to saying yes and no, have prepared a special treat for you all. They have prepared a magic act in which they can make their entire heads disappear. So does everyone want to see that today? I want you guys to help me and together we're gonna count to three and on the count of three Tina and Molly will make those heads disappear so is everyone ready all right here we go one two three These alligators are like starting to remind me of plastic toys. Hey. And this is the reason why I will never like Cannibal Holocaust. So many toys. And that's the end of the Destin Florida trip of 2015. Hopefully that was enjoyable enough to watch. It was definitely better than the Destin trip I took five years ago, but it doesn't beat Wilderness at the Smokies or Daytona due to the lack of indoor activities. But overall, I still thought it was a lot of fun, and I hope that we're going to go on another trip this year so you can all join me on these little journeys and these little Food Cat Friday vlogs. And yeah, stay tuned for more.